back to Once Upon a Game. I am Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, we're going to be doing an unboxing of GMT Games Panzer, the game of small unit actions and combined arms operation on the Eastern Front, 43 to 44. Uh, this game, this base game, uh, has this, this is the second printing that was done in 2016. It is currently on P500 for the third printing, which is supposed to be a straight reprint with some errata only corrections um it already has four expansions uh, i've got an unboxing video of the fourth expansion which has now started moving uh, more toward the western front with some french uh, engagements and that fourth expansion uh, also includes a couple of solo scenarios um, so it's definitely moving into the solo range um, the other three expansions are more of the eastern front uh, and then they're working their way and plan to have the whole system covering the whole European theater. So let's take a look and see what you get inside the second printing, which is out of print now. Uh, I managed to find this copy on Facebook and was able to get one new and shrink. So I want to share what's inside for if you're looking at backing the P current P500. So let's just crack it open. One thing that... I've learned in researching this one that I like is that it has, it can be as complex or as simple, uh, excuse me, as complex, yeah, complex or as basic as you want it to be. It, um, it has your basic rules, which are pretty um, short, and then it's got the um, more advanced and optional rules you can add on as you get familiar with the other, so I do like that. Um, all right. Here we go. Now, this is interesting. I've never seen this in a GMT game before. Everything is in a bag. So, we'll start with that. So, first thing we got is bags, as always. Which I never end up using. I use for other games, because I end up using GMT trays for this stuff, or my own modular trays. So, let's dig in and see what is inside the bag, inside the box. There's no insert. Usually there's a, you know, some kind of faux insert that brings it up. That you end up getting rid of it so all right so we got four dice two white black and red okay then we got some unit cards here that have come out of the sleeve these are nice because they're thick uh, chipboard with the uh, unit uh, information on them so you'll get out the ones you're playing with and you'll have them at the ready so we have the this panthers ivg 3M, IVH, that's a 4H club. Tigers, uh, M42s, M43s, M44s, hey, M45, do you hear from M45? All right, so stack cards, it's the other one there. They're so eager to fly right out of the, right out of the sleeve here. So we got a chart for anti-tank weapons. So this is really nice, this is kind of reminiscent of the, if I remember calling her correctly, uh, um, Wing Leader had, uh, had cards for all the planes that you could use, and those were kind of nice, so. Very cool, durable set. All right, so you get a bunch of those. Now we get the playbook. This is going to be the scenarios, etc. And it is 40 pages. And full, full color. And the scenarios we got here, it looks like there are 10 scenarios. And scenario rules, how to set them up. Scenario 5 will tell you how to use the map, which we'll get to in a minute the units now this this one plays you know each unit is a tank so it's it's i dare say i don't even because the game system and the rules are obviously going to be different but it's kind of the combat commander of tanks whereas combat commander focuses down at the squad level this focuses up just slightly at the tank level hexes on the map are 100 100 meters, I believe, instead of 50, which is what Combat Commander is. So it just, it's zooming out a little bit more and making it where, you know, the tanks would come into play. Now, there are squads and half squads and things like that in here as well. But they're, each counter for that represents, you know, more men. 
but each tank counter represents a tank, so that's very cool. So we've got two copies of game card A, game card B, front and back. So there's one for each player. Obviously, if you're playing solo, you would just use the one. Terrain effects, armor piercing hits, combat modifiers, so on and so forth. We have a game card C, which is a sequence of play. It's C and D, so I guess a reference in the rule book would make the most sense. So C, D, more charts, get your sequence of play, different modifiers you get. Then we have a Panzer turn track, hidden unit tracks, there's two of those, and one for each player. Now hidden units with solo will be interesting, hopefully they've got something to cover how to use that. Key to the vehicle data cards, which we just saw. That gives you information on how to read those. And then we've got sheets of counters. And not a lot, which is kind of nice, considering what this game is. They are large counters. Uh, they look to be 7 8 inch or an inch. Let's take a look. They are 1 inch counters. No, they are they are 7 8 inch counters. Very nice. You got your units. There's three sheets of counters here, so we've got Let's see. Wow, we've got one sheet of tank counters. Those are the larger ones. It's a good selection of Russian, good selection of German. And then we've got two sheets of markers. So we have fire and move, overwatch. They all have limited commands that you can give them. And then we have our troop markers. Again, not a lot of counters. That's I like that. I like, I like, you know, let's play with minimal choices, not, you know, some games have like, you know, a thousand counters and there's two of this type and one of this type and sorting is kind of a pain. So this is pretty impressive, actually. All right. And then more markers. Um, damaged tank counters, markers, turrets, smoke counters, control markers, things like that. So now we have our rule books. The optional rules I was mentioning before, they are variant types that you can add. So the optional rule book comes in at 16 pages. Just, you know, you can add them like, like seasoning to your games. And then the basic and advanced rules, all in one. Now this is a bigger book, but if I'm not mistaken, the the basic rules, so the whole rule book is 68 pages, but the basic rules only go up to page 21. So much easier to internalize, learn the basic game first. Full color, good examples here on terrain and height. So that's nice. And, you know, usual GM quality, not glossy but very well clear printed, bright colored paper. So it's bright white paper, so it's easy to read the text on. Then you get into the advanced rules and you add those again as you want on the back of your terrain key to the map. So I was a little confused and now I see what the, the answer, the resolution is. In the, I was skimming the rule book online, uh, I noticed that the, uh, the, the map was referenced as a map board, which I thought was great. The amount map board, which I prefer. But then I kept seeing it with plexiglass on it and people talking about it being a, a plexi game. So um, kind of kind of stopped me. Now I see why. So it's a cardboard map. It's not paper. I mean, it's, you know, obviously from a tree, but uh, it is not... Um, so it's a little stiffer than paper, obviously, is going to be, but a little less stiff than, than a mounted map board would be. Kind of reminiscent of the beauty and simplicity of Combat Commander and their map sheets, just a very functional map. Uh, in fact, some of, the, some of the graphics here are pretty much the same. Um, just obviously, since it's zoomed out, you're seeing it at a different level. So, um, so it's pretty cool. So if you pick a copy of, of Panzer by GMT, the 2016 printing, 
uh, or you're just waiting to get the uh, third printing uh, off P500, you will end up with a map board. It's a cardboard, paperish map. Uh, you will get a stack of uh, unit reference cards. You will get dice, bags. You will get the rule book with the basic advanced rules, a nice book with the optional rules. Only three seats of counters, which is really good. I like that. Several player references, turn track, and then reference cards, two sets of reference cards for each player, and your scenario playbook. And that is everything that will come in that box. Hope you pick up a copy. Thanks so much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye. Oh!